Hi, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to import presets and preset packs using Tone Studio for the Boss Katana Mark I and Mark II. The first thing you need to do is to download Boss Tone Studio for the Katana Mark I or the Mark II and the relevant drivers from the Boss website. Once you've downloaded and installed the app and installed the driver, and you've connected your Katana to either your PC or your Mac, you'll get this screen. This screen is basically a deep dive into controlling your Boss Katana. But what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to import presets. First of all, we're gonna be looking at the Boss Katana Mark I. We're in the editor at the moment, but if you come over to the librarian and click on that, this is where you can import and export all of your patches. So I'm gonna push import, and I'm gonna go down to downloads as if you're downloading files, that's probably where they're gonna be stored. This is on a Mac, on a PC, it might be slightly different. Now I'm gonna import this pack here, which says the Studio Rats Katana Mark I 2021 preset pack. Now all of these patches appear in this list. What I could do is to pick up each of the individual presets and drop them over to the channels on the Boss Katana. Or if I've got a whole preset pack, I can highlight all of the presets, and just drag it over to the first channel so now all of the presets are accessible on the left-hand side here. So that's the Mark I Katana, let's have a look at the Mark II. So with the Katana Mark II, you get a different screen and a different way of importing the presets. So from the editor, again, we're gonna to go to the librarian. Now, if we come over to the right-hand side, we've got this download and upload button. The download button is for downloading patches onto the Katana and the upload to take patches off the Katana to upload onto the web. So I'm gonna push the download button again. So I can either import from the Katana or I can import from file. What we're gonna be doing is to import from file as I've downloaded these presets from the internet. Let's click on file. Again, we're gonna be looking in the downloads folder as that's where it's more than likely to be and click on the same preset pack. Now there's one thing we've got to know. If you've got a Boss Katana Mark I, you cannot load Mark II patches. If you've got a Boss Katana Mark II, any patches that have been created on either the Boss Katana Mark II or the Mark I will work on the Boss Katana Mark II. So I can download all of these patches which were originally created on the Boss Katana Mark I and import them into my Boss Katana Mark II. So as it was on the Boss Katana Mark I, again, I can just pick up any one of these files and just copy it straight over to the relevant channels on the Boss Katana Mark II. Or again, what I can do with this is just to highlight all of the files by holding down Shift and just dragging over to the first channel. So now all of those files are now in the Boss Katana Mark II. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, leave a comment, all the usual stuff, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.